Hello. It's uh, it's Monday afternoon. It's Acoustic Paradiso. I'm here on Anderton's TV, and today we are doing a shootout between the Yamaha Trans Acoustic Series and the Tonewood Amp. Uh, if you've not come across these before, um, it's very similar technology, but kind of applied in different ways. So the Yamaha, all the technology is built inside the guitar. You've got three controls on the top, uh, one for reverb, one for chorus, and uh, a line out volume. All of the sounds that you're hearing in this video are just coming through these uh, microphones. We're not plugged into anything because what these devices do is they use an actuator which uses the body of the guitar as the speaker box uh, or the speaker cone um, and it takes the signal from the pickups that they have uh, and uses it to create effects that come out of the box of the guitar. So if I look through this one first, this is the, uh, the high end of the Yamaha Trans Acoustic Series. This is the LLTA, solid spruce top, uh, rosewood back and sides, mahogany neck. And um, this retails at 799. And this is it with no effects. <laughs> So as an acoustic guitar, it's like it's a great acoustic guitar. Um, then to turn on the effects, you just press and hold the, uh, the line out volume button for a couple of seconds and on it comes. As I said, it's got reverb and chorus. I'm going to turn the chorus off for a second. Uh, there's actually two reverbs. There's a hall reverb and a room reverb. So if I do the room reverb first, that's this one here. So it's a bit short. Uh, the hall has got a bit of a longer tail. It's, uh, from, from a playing position, it's quite amazing the, the, the kind of stereo effect you get out of it. Um, <clears throat> let me turn some chorus up, because everyone likes, not everyone likes chorus on acoustic guitars, but people do, some people do. And uh, this is what it sounds like on this guitar. <laughs> So it's really uh, magic, basically, uh, the way it sounds uh, and the way it creates the effects in the guitar. But if uh, 800 pounds is a little bit out of your price range, there are two other ways to get a similar effect. You can either use the, um, the slightly lower spec uh, Yamaha Trans Acoustic, That's, those retail between five and 600, depending on finish. Um, or you can use something like the Tonewood Amp, which you can fit, I think this is 225, but you can fit this to an existing acoustic guitar you have, or you can do what we're gonna do, which is um, use this sire, which we've chosen because it's got similar construction to this, solid rosewood back and sides, spruce top. And um, this, this is a retrofit thing, so now we're gonna do some kind of clever time lapse where you see me loosen the strings, attach this brace to the inside, it's all removable, by the way, afterwards, and um, we'll plug the tonewood amp in, see how that, stacks up against this. Okay, so uh, the music you just heard um, while I was doing my time-lapse string change and install of the Tonewood amp was played on this guitar using the Tonewood. Um, so it's attached to the back of the guitar here. There's a display on top so you can see what's happening and three knobs that control effects, parameters and amplitude and various other things if you press them to go through the menus. Um, this is currently set to plate reverb. I had to do a bit of tweaking with the output controls from the guitar because it's plugged in to the Tonewood amp. 
uh, and then go in and adjust the gains and the master volumes and the mix of the effects and things. So the tone with amp is a lot more versatile. You can do a lot more with it, but it requires a kind of an extra level of um, fiddling, I suppose, to uh, to do it. So first of all, I'm just going to play the guitar with no effects on, then I'll turn the tone with amp up, and you can see how the uh, how the reverb sounds. So. Send some signal through to the amp. So that's uh, that's a nice reverb. It's not quite as um, Kind of absorbing, I suppose. This is not the, quite the right word for as the Yamaha, but it it does um, it does add reverb to it. So I'm going to go through some of the different effects as well because with the tone with you can save up to 80 presets, um, so 80 patches of effects. It's also got some notch filters on it, so if you're using it on multiple guitars, you can EQ it differently for each guitar. Um, so I'm just going to go through some of the different effects on here because it's got a lot more than just the reverb and chorus that's available. Uh, on the Yamaha, where are we? So I put it onto delay setting. Next effect, trim delay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Just gonna see what the parameters are for that. So I can turn the rate down. And the depth can come down a bit as well. That was up at full, so. <laughs> so I mean, that's um, it's an unusual effect. Leslie, here we go. <laughs> Some reverb still on there, but it's got a Leslie effect too, which is psychedelic folk on. Uh, the next effect on here is an auto wah. That's what you want on your acoustic.
just for a comparison, here's the guitar with the tonewood amp turned off. So there we go. Um, interesting. It's not really. There's no real winner. I don't think in this because they're quite different, uh, different beasts. Really, I really I thought the reverb on the trans acoustic was great. Uh, the reverb on the tonewood's not bad. I mean, for me, I think the big selling point for the tonewood amp is that you can put it on any acoustic guitar. So particularly if you've got a guitar, you know, that you already own that is uninspiring. Um, adding a tonewood amp to it is a relatively affordable way to to give it a whole new load of um, tonal things to play with, I suppose, for want of a, a better word. Um, the tonewood amp doesn't have chorus on it out of the box, but you can uh, update it to the latest version and that will add chorus. Um, but it does have all the other effects, so delay, auto wah, Leslie, overdrive. The Yamaha, everything's pre-installed, so that's easy. But the Tonewood amp took me two or three minutes to actually fit it to the guitar. And most of that was taking the tension out of the strings and then tuning it back up afterwards. It's very easy to install. You can, if you've got multiple guitars, you can get um, extra um, braces that go on the inside if you want to just leave it on the inside of the guitar. But it's, you know, it's a five-minute job to take it out of one guitar and put it into another one. So uh, there we go. Thanks for watching. Let us know which you thought sounded the best in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.